Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. Today I want to talk about a topic that's very dear to me that I've noticed more people need reminding. And the topic that I wanted to share is learning to be more open-minded. In other words, try not to force yourself on people so much. Don't force your love, don't force your beliefs, don't force politics or the way you want to raise your child. You know, you become so much more when you learn to listen and you learn to be open. Many times there were things that I would disagree with, but I would listen and I would digest it a little bit to try to maybe see the other person's side of the story. Now, just because, and I think a lot of people get this confused, just because you can understand something doesn't mean you agree that this is something maybe you would do for you. And this is why people so often slam it down. So I guess what I'm saying is when somebody is trying to express something or dress in a certain way, um, don't be so quick to say, in my day, we never did this. And you know what? I get it. But guess what? We don't live in your day anymore. We don't. <laughs> you know? And you, you really have to start growing with the times. And when you have stunted growth in your beliefs sometimes, you really miss so much more from people. You really do. So just because somebody maybe might be different or how it wants to look or how it wants to live their life, you're right. I personally wouldn't do it, but then again, if it floats their boat, they're not hurting anybody, I'm happy for them. That's really the bottom line and that's really what I'm trying to practice. Try not to be so narrow-minded and be open-minded. Like I said, it may not be for you, but you're not to say it's not for them. And I'm noticing more and more people are becoming more and more opinionated and they need to keep sometimes their opinions to themselves. Now, don't get that mixed up with helpfulness. And you know, it's funny, I have a 27 year old daughter and those of you who watch my YouTube are very familiar with my daughter, Alex. And yes, I'm her mother and yes, I guide her, but I don't volunteer my opinion, I don't. And you're gonna say, really? No, because she's 27, I hope. And I really, really think of all the years that I have spent raising her, investing my love into this child, that she walked away with really being a great person and knowing right from wrong and knowing what she should be doing. So I always say, when you want my opinion, ask me and I'll be happy to give it. But. I'm not going to voice it because I trust you enough to make your decisions. Now, if you want to talk it through, absolutely, honey, I'm always there for you. But at the same token, my daughter has really stepped up to the plate many times on many different situations. And I look at her with my husband and I said, that's our girl. She's doing it. Now, she's done some things that I would never have done. I'll be honest with you. But looking back, I think to myself, you know, Maybe this is something she had to do to make her soul growth. And looking back, I could say, maybe it's, it's good that she did do it because look what she got out of it. So keep your reservations to a minimal of opinions because sometimes when you listen more, you end up being the winner to what you learn, okay? So that I hope has enlightened you. But like I said, before you react, Listen, digest it, seriously. And never make a decision or try not to make an outburst if you're in the heat of an emotional moment. Seriously, there's been times when I am not happy about what somebody has said and I just walk away and I need to calm down within myself and I quiet my spirit. And then I release it. Now when I see this person, I'm much more calm that I'm not going to say something that's hurtful because maybe a day ago or a week ago, I probably would have said something very hurtful because we're all human and we have the ability to react. But think before you react because I am telling you, you are gonna be the more wiser and you are gonna have more of the peace and you're gonna have more good relationships that way. So there's a lot going around, there's a lot circulating with our world right now. Um, try to be kind to each other 
try to be somewhat open. And yes, some of your opinions can be very valid and you're probably right. But guess what? If it's going to be intrusive and you're going to have an argument with somebody, what are you valuing? Your opinion to make known or the relationship? I choose the relationship. I hope this has enlightened you. And I wish you every single day, each and every one of you, love, peace, harmony. Because at the end, that's what you really have and this is what you should always have. It's not the money because you can be very lonely with your materialistic things and your surroundings. The bottom line is, 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 is all the love. You know, it's a wonderful life. They, you know, I remember Clarence in the book, he who has friends is not a failure. It's true. So relationships are more important than sometimes your right to prove your you know, that you have the opinion and your way's right. Because many times, I'm sure as a parent, you're right, but you kind of lose sometimes when you're pushy. So keep the thought, keep the intent, and eventually, sometimes, maybe they're going to pick something you wouldn't do, but at the end, maybe this is the learning tool that they needed, and they're going to come back around to exactly what you always hoped for them to be. All right? Um, just like I said, it's 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 touchy subject, I know, but you'll be the winner for it. So subscribe to YouTube. There's going to be a lot more that we do talk about. Keep the questions coming and, you know, ask them if it's, and you know, like I said, I like your opinions and all that. Um, be kind to even on YouTube. Like I said, I read some people's comments and sometimes they're very, very unfriendly and it doesn't have to be that way. Um, be friendly, you can ask the question, you can state something, but remember to be kind all the way around, okay? Until next time, I hope this has really given you food for thought. All my love. Take care.